think you can't get women who are attractive, women who are in shape, women who are in the gym like like you are. And here's the thing, let me tell you something. Women who Okay, so here is where I have some area code of being understanding where he is. Hi guys. My name is Crimson. Go by Crimson60620. Sometimes you can call me Brian. I am somebody who is a fat fuck, I'll give you that. But I would like a woman to go to the gym or exercise because I do. It has nothing to do. I want to say thank you to all of my Patreon supporters and Twitch subscribers. If you want to help out the channel, support me on Patreon at Crimson60620 and on Twitch at Crimson60620. Thank you for your support and please enjoy the video. All right, let's let's go to the next video. Um Oh god, this is going to be this is going to be one of those videos. Um, all right, all right, so, all right, disclaimer, disclaimer, I'm going to tell you guys this, this is disclaimer, um, I, you may actually, they, they got big energy, disclaimer, you guys may actually find out more about me than what you may actually not want to know, I'm sorry, I saw this video and I was like, hmm, this seems different, and so, we we have to look at this and so we're this is going to be a setup for another video that i'm going to do tonight so this is going to be part one of that video but you guys need to look at this and so follow along with me so um if you didn't know the reason why i started my channel as actually i started my channel as a gaming channel then i start starting these red pill motherfuckers people who were actually mad because They've never touched a woman or the woman that they like kind of was they somebody else. Now, mind you, I myself didn't wasn't in the best relationship, but I never started hating women. As a matter of fact, when that relationship fall, fell apart, I was like, yay, let, let's start like being more open to the women that I like. And, um, well, I had red pill and the politics and I kind of politics while I was gaming. And so... I still have to every now and again go back to those red pill origins of me just shitting on red pill guys. And um I saw the title of this one and it really like what the fuck is wrong with you dude? And so let let's go, let's let's go. Um let's let's do this. Here we go. And here's the thing, let me tell you something. Women who are bigger, who are overweight, who are quote unquote BBW, like a lot of you guys might call them, or she's a little thicker. Let me tell you this those women have the worst attitudes. They have the. We already starting off wrong. Okay, but let's, let's go. Let's go. The worst standards. So the fact that I am now the fattest I have ever been in my life, you know, I have this lovely big belly, and I have never felt more confident ever wearing crop tops. I have never worn this many crop tops in my life. This is. Okay, so I don't see what's wrong with this. I really don't. What, 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 why is he making fun of her? I mean, like, she has a nice pair of titties. And yes, I like titties. Fuck. <laughs> My side off phrase is touch titties with consent. But yeah, let's go. Such a new thing for me. And when you look at me, one of two reactions happens, okay? Like, you either look at me and you go, holy fuck, they're, they're so hot. Because I am. Look at me. I look incredible. Or you look at me and you go, wow, that's disgusting. And if that's what you think, I hope you really sit with that and just reflect. Oh my God. Did did somebody catch that they responded to themselves um, non-binary and like, I don't know if this stupid idiot is going to respond to that. Oh my God. Oh my God. This is, he's going to be so triggered. All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's go on how fucked up your brain is. You can look at this, all of this, and think it's disgusting. Stare at it as much as you like. It is not going anywhere. 
single for another two years, then that's what it is. Because the person that is for me is gonna take me right now at being a little over 300 pounds because then in the future when I look at you, I can say you deserve me now at my. All right, so. All right, so. This is where I have to say like, this is something where it's a little bit kind of self-absorbed. I like, I, yeah, the, the last person looked really great. But this attitude right here of just like, oh, you should accept me for wherever, however I look. It isn't about the whole accepting thing. No, 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 no. Because I don't have to accept you for whatever you think that I should accept you for, that I should deserve you. Because here's the thing. I don't care if you, you know, plus size, skinny or something like that. With a lot of people that have that mentality, they, it's, it's not about a chick being fat. No, it's, it's definitely not about a chick being fat. It's a, I'm going to be who I want to be and I'm not going to, I'm not going to change for nobody. You should just deal with it, which is fine. You can actually have that attitude, be it physical or mental, but there is some shit that's toxic as hell. And like these motherfuckers don't know how to break that, the difference between that, but let, let's go. Best because this isn't my best. My best is yet to come, but you should earn and deserve me at my best. N no, no, nobody has to. And that includes these fucking idiot has red pills either. That's it's that's just arrogance. But let, let's go. And that's the problem. A lot of people don't want to put the work into people that don't look like they're worth. It. Okay. Now, that's then that that that's actually stupid. Like no, you should never. You should never judge somebody exclusively by the way that they look. You shouldn't, and that's just fucking stupid. But let's go. Let's see what this. Let's see what this guy's talking about. I smash. I'm not in the video. Bitch, you know I smash you. <laughs> I don't really fuck with you. Oh my god, there it is. I'm gonna have to pass, babe. I know you'll eat it. Okay. Wait. Wait. Why does he joke about dude having no standards? Like. Wait, what? He like him a big girl. Like, wait, what? What? Oh, God. And yes, yes. That's the thing. You have to have some physical attraction to the person that you with. Like, the people who say that you don't, they're lying to themselves. I'm a sapiosexual. I'm demisexual. But it's still, if I don't have that baseline attraction to you, then it's not cool. But, like, still, like... You, your personality means something, but let's go. I know you'll eat it. Okay. 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 <laughs> you so cute. I'll milk you. No, not the milk. And the thing about it is, wait, 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 wait. You literally have this video. Oh, God. I can only see the stupid shit that he is going to say. There are men that's willing to be with her. But I'm sure he's going to say something stupid and shit. But let's go. Let me see what you got on boxes. Oh, Ethicus. Okay, I'll smash. I'll make you eat my uh, How tall you is? So, this is the funny fucking part about it. Um, These fuckers are so insecure about their fucking height. They're so insecure. Because that's the one thing that they can't fucking fix. Hold on. That's the one thing that they can't fucking fix in a fucking gym. Who, who, what's my height? No motherfucker, it's your personality. I'm 5'7", and trust me, trust me, trust me. I get a lot of interest from women. I get a lot of fucking interest from women. But yo, duh, oh wait, I'm, I'm getting ahead of myself. I haven't seen this. You so fine, you got a girlfriend? You think every girl like you. I never, what's your girlfriend? I smash. A few moments later. I'm gonna smash. You gonna spend some money? Can you do it? You gonna spend some money? Can you do it? Now I'm smashing. He gotta have one, I gotta have one. Oh, it's a double team. 
Oh, we're gonna fly you out. What you doing? Ooh. Oh, they swallowed out. Well, I'll take a long pass. What go now, mind you. <laughs> no, the attitude, yeah, the attitude. Mind you, okay, okay. So here's the thing. You literally just see this shit of the dude coming back through and the women who are conventionally attractive, they still have a bad attitude too. But I'm sure he's gonna give you some enlightened takes about the fuck he's talking about. Let, let's go, let's, let's hear this shit out. Goes around, comes around. <laughs> if you can dish it out, don't be afraid to receive that same criticism, pain, and discomfort that you inflicted on everybody else. Keep that same energy in everything you do. In today's video, we're gonna talk about men having standards, versus women having standards. And we already know it's totally lopsided and skewed. Because you fuckers try to have the highest standards, but don't bring shit to the table. And secondly, does he, come here guys, does he not get that that shit was staged? Does he not get that shit was staged? You don't just go to like for somebody probably like this motherfucker who's probably never, ever, ever been to a fucking party. You don't just go down to parties and say, I fuck you, I fuck you, pass on you, fuck you, you, you suck my dick. Like, you're like, no, no, like that shit doesn't happen in parties. That shit was staged for a fucking camera. I, I, okay, okay. Oh, fuck. This motherfucker's a nerd, but let's go. Let's go. Women can have all these different standards and preferences for men. But if a man says, you know, I want a woman who's in shape. I want a woman who weighs less than 120, 130 pounds. I want a woman who goes. So a child did like a, a child. Okay. Okay. Let's go to the gym. I want a woman who has this and that. All of a sudden women get frustrated and get upset. They say, uh, you're a misogynistic. You're a loser. You live in your parents' basement and, and you will never get laid again. All because women don't want to get in shape. Women don't want to do what it needs to be done to attract a certain guy. So this is why this whole propaganda is being pushed that every woman is beautiful. Wait, but like, the, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, like, of course speed dating. Of course shit, like man. Okay, okay, okay. I know I'm not the fittest motherfucker in the world. I'm working out, I have me a motherfucking exercise machine right there. I'm getting strong, but this motherfucker really is going hard on the, oh, women need to get in shape. Like, dude, you don't, you don't, you, you don't look, you don't, you look skinny, my, my dog. Yeah, yeah, of course that's emaciated, but let's go. No matter what shape you are, no matter how big you are, every woman is sexy, every woman is so attractive. You can wear that same piece at 250, 300 pounds that a woman is 120 pounds can wear. You can do that same thing, girl. Go ahead, be confident. And we already know confidence just depends on how you look. Is that the reason why you have none? Like for real, for real. Is that the reason why this motherfucker has none? Like, of course he's over emotional about it because he's a child, but let, let's go. So if you're an unattractive guy and you're overweight and you have all these different defects, you can walk around confident. People might say, oh, he's cool. Uh, but then I'm like, no, I don't want to be seen with that guy. I don't want to date. I don't want to have sex with that guy. The same thing goes for women. But wait, 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 wait. That shit doesn't work in a world where Danny DeVito exists. Like, fuck. Like, oh my God. Oh my God. You know the stories that Danny Vito used to tell before he's rich and super successful? He's like, I used to go to the tall woman in the room. She felt awkward. And I just go like, hey, you want to dance? And would treat her like a regular person. And he would... Well, he would be popular. The fact of the matter is, fuckers like this, fuckers like this are so caught up in their own emotional hurt that they can't see that it's about the fucking personality. I get it. I'm an asshole. I get on, on I get on YouTube, Twitch, 
and just be an asshole. I literally sit back and say like, yo, I'll make fun of conservatives and I'm a lefty. So man, that, that hardly gets me any snatch. Um, but fuck people enjoy being around me. Like I've dated women who were taller than me and I'm five, seven women who say, Oh, I want this type of man. I want that type of man, but they get around me and they like being around me. Oh, you a simp. You do this. Yeah. But like, I like being around them too. And they enjoy me. The fuck is wrong with you? Yeah. He, of course he has a chip on his shoulder. Shoulder. It's a red peel guy. And let's, let's, let's hear him whine some more. Let's hear him whine some more. Right? So if a man sees a bigger girl, a lot of the times men will hook up and have sex with bigger girls. Right? And when the sun goes down, that's what most dudes want. Bigger women. No, like, Fuck that. I, look. He actually doesn't realize that he's making his own case. He literally played a video of multiple dudes saying that, hey, yeah, I would like to be with you. Hey, yeah, I like that. Like, he doesn't realize that shit. I don't get it. And he's like, oh, when the sun goes down. A man like he's ashamed to actually see her or be seen with her when literally this shit right here, this shit that he saw right here, this shit right here, they are literally on camera on the fucking internet talking about how they would want to be. And what did he show? One example of her getting turned down. One example. But let, let's let's go. Like, man, I'm gonna see you know. When I'm 300 plus pounds, remember that quote. So people might say, oh, he's cool. And, but then I'm like, you know what? I don't want to. So when it comes to actually dating and mating and being in a relationship and actually investing, men are like, you know what? I'll pass on that. I'm, I'm not trying to, you know, invest in a woman who's clinically obese. Speaking of investing, the second clip. Wait. <sighs> Memories of the muscle girl at the Y was so fucking hot. Yes, of course. <laughs> and I bet. I bet. Oh, my God. Melissa, shh, shh, don't jump ahead. Let's go. Clip of the woman. She's basically saying, you know, if if you're not here to support me when I'm overweight, when I'm 300 plus pounds, which is crazy, then when I lose weight, you don't deserve me. So let's break that down. Let's translate that for all you guys who might be dating or in a relationship with a woman right now who's overweight. And I know a lot of you guys are. So he's going to make a false assumption that every woman who says that or like every woman who's over 300 pounds is some... Um, um, temporarily embarrassed model. Yes, and we're using the whole example of the temporarily embarrassed millionaire. Some temporarily embarrassed model who is all of a sudden going to drop down, you know, half her body size within a two week time frame to be like, it's going to be like, um, it's going to be the nutty professor juice. It's going to be the fucking nutty professor juice. And um, yeah, like, no, that's, that's the thing. But, but no, okay. Let, let, that's what he thinks. He thinks that it's going to be the nutty professor juice. And, um, he's, yeah, he's in, but in this case, would he be Janet Jackson or, you know, um, uh, Jada Pinkett Smith or she was just Jada Pinkett at that time in that analogy. Like, let, all right, let's go. Right. Or is he going to be like fucking Dave Chappelle with the shit locks? All right, let's go. If a woman loses weight and you guys are together, She's gonna leave you, okay? No, no, no! Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> oh shit! Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa! Wait, what? Did he just say if a woman loses weight and she's with you, she's gonna leave you? Wait. How, how does that work? Like, how does that? Like, if you are with a woman and you're supporting her and you being there for her and she actually cares about you and she loses weight, and guess what? If she's losing weight and you're losing weight and you are working together, she's not going to leave you, you dumbass. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Are you saying that only reason why a woman would be with you, this um, a, a BBW, is because you feel she feels that you're her only option? 
That says more about you, my friend. That says more about you. Oh, shit. Fuck. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. These will be the same people that's like, if you ain't rich or you rich and you lose all your money, then your woman will leave you. Then you have a fucked up personality, dog. I'm sorry. I am so fucking sorry. I, how? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, wow. Oh, God. Damn it. I, I feel bad for him. Yeah, I'm embarrassed for his ass, too. Let's go. Don't take advice from women. Don't listen to that, ch that chick in the second clip where she says, well, you deserve me now, so basically I'm going to treat you really good. No, women are going to treat you horribly, right? They're going to treat you so bad because... Wait. Wait. What, what, what relationship has he been in? God damn. Fuck. <laughs> Wait, what? But these would be the same people that be like, well, yeah, you should get with me while I have like a shit job and as soon as I'm going to actually be better and you should, like... These and oh, like these are the same motherfuckers. No wonder they have the mindset of when they get rich, they gonna dump their current wife for a young, a younger model or some shit like that. Wow. <laughs> yeah, who hurt you, sir? Because if you got with her and you basically accepted her and loved her for who she is unconditionally, which most women don't do for men, what happen? Wait, wait. Yeah, some some do. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, hey, so, hey, please, somebody don't tell them that. The feelings of starting a relationship don't last always. It waxes and wanes. It ebbs and flows. Nobody tell him that. All right, all right, let's go. Let's go. Oh, shit. What happens is when she starts to trim down, when she gets to that certain body type that she wants, she's going to be like, man, I'm going to see, you know, what other options I have because, you know, you picked me when I was, you know, sloppy, when I was unattractive, when I was overweight, or, you know, my... If you are with somebody, you should be attracted to them. Am I wrong with that? Am I wrong for that? If you are with somebody, you should be attracted to them. Like, I... I, I, I don't know. I, I don't know. I, I, I didn't met some, some pretty thick big girls. Ah. Uh, uh, yeah, let, let's go. Arms are flabby. So now that I look good, let me go out there and see who can I really attract. Let me see my real sexual market value. And I got to test it out. And I got to get rid of you. And I say, you know what? And see, this is all it comes down to. It's capitalism for relationships. That's all it is. This is fucking capitalism for relationships. Like, no, like, dude, human beings, well, mildly adjusted human beings don't work that way, dog. There are things called emotions and feelings and tides and, you know, things that you feel for other people that kind of bind your relationships. Now, I know you dumb fuck because you probably haven't been in a relationship before. You don't know what that is of people actually wanting to be with you um, or, you know, they ran away as soon as they saw your saw penis. But like, like people don't just leave after this. Like, Wow. Oh, oh, it's mama's couch. <laughs> Boobs talking about big girls. <laughs> yes, yes, all, all of the above. Let's go. This ain't working out. It happens to a lot of guys. Dudes who get on weight loss journeys with women who didn't have the best diet or best nutrition or, or, or the best exercising habits. Then the guy says, hey, let's get you on a plan. And then she starts to lose weight. She starts to gain a lot more confidence. She starts to... Never fuck with somebody that doesn't have confidence in themselves. Never. Never. And I'm not talking about fake egotistical confidence, but never fuck with somebody who doesn't have confidence in themselves. I know some some people that aren't aren't BBWs that don't have confidence in themselves. I will never fuck with them in that way because one, if you don't love yourself, how could you love me? Two, I don't want to become the focus, the the focus of your obsession. And three, I'm gonna start some journeys myself. And um, yeah, um, I I I just I I I need you to be confident. So when I go on my journeys, you will be okay. Yeah, they don't have confidence. Like it's not size specific. Sometimes it's about the way they feel about themselves. It's it's a mental thing. It's a emotional thing. 
It's not about, A, this dress size leads to confidence. No, it doesn't. But le le let's let's keep going. Feel good about herself. Then she gets rid of the guy. And the guy's like, what happened? Well, she starts complaining about different things. And what it is is she's just... Wait, 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 wait. I don't think she's complaining about shit because she lost some weight. Wait, wait, wait. That's not it, dog. It's something else going wrong. I did like just because they improved their 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 body image of themselves, it's that not like damn, this is the most telling line in the motherfucking video. Oh shit, damn. Just reached a certain level in life where she's like, you know what, I worked hard. I did this, I got my body in shape, I, I, I've been disciplined for months and years, so let me go out here and see what I can really get. Let me get rid of you. And that's how most men should operate. That's how every guy should. If you're in shape, if you work on yourself, if you do everything you're supposed to do, your body's tight, there's no way that you should be settling down and get with a woman who's overweight. Now, some I, But what if they What if they like it? Like, what if they like... Uh, uh, what, uh, I, I, like I, I, I like big titties, I'm not going to lie. I like big tits, and I'm not gonna lie. You other, but like, I, uh, I, I'm not really an ass man. Uh, it's to me, it goes titties, thighs, then like butts. But you know, like the, like I, 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 I and there are certain things that I would pay, happily pay for in my service of like, like big titties and big thighs. I, that just, I did, uh, like man, you gotta, you just pull, boy. Well, uh, man. Uh, let's go, let's go. Some of you guys might like bury your girls at night, but still, that's actually lowering your self-esteem as a man. If you are in shape, if you if you are on point, and you are having sex and hooking up with bigger girls, that says a lot about you and your confidence, not about... It, it says that you are okay with, you don't give a fuck about who thinks about what you like. It just says that, yeah, I, I, I like it, and shut the fuck up while I'm like, tongue in this chick whole inside of her vaginal cavities. I'm sorry, trying to find a G-Tuck spot with my tongue. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, um, 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 <laughs> next subject. About your physique, because you think you can't get women who are attractive, women who are in shape, women who are in the gym like, like you are. And here's the thing, let me tell you something. Women who- Okay, so here is where I have some area code of being understanding where he is. Hi guys, my name is Crimson. Go by Crimson60620. Sometimes you can call me Brian. I am somebody who is a fat fucker, I give you that. But I would like a woman to go to the gym or exercise because I do. It has nothing to do with her being fucking skinny. It's literally because I do, and that's some shit I want to share with her. I ride my bike. When when the fucking weather gets warm, I ride my bike. I walk on the lonely lakefront. It is not a requirement that you have to be some skinny fuck to actually deal with me. But what I would require is somebody to enjoy the shit that I like to do. Yeah. I, 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 I have issues with people who, when I'm trying to be, you know active and shit like that and not for to lose like 200 pounds but because i want to actually improve my health and be better and not trying to be super skinny i wouldn't want somebody to enjoy that shit with me and it's not in in the sense of like oh you need to do this or i'm leaving you it's just like let's share this together but this motherfucker won't understand the concept of sharing some shit that you like with people you just think like no no you need to be under 120 pounds because reasons. I, I, yeah, go ahead. Like, eat shit like that. Walking the dog. Walking the dog. That is fucking great for you and your significant other to do together. Just to talk. Just to spend time with each other. But, like, I, it's not about fitness at that point. It's just about enjoying fucking, like, just enjoying each other's company. But this fucker won't understand that shit because he only probably thinks of women as life support systems for a living flesh like. But let's go. Who are bigger, who are overweight, who are quote unquote BBW like a lot of you guys might call them or she's a little thicker. Let me tell you this. Those women have the worst attitudes. They have the worst standards. Notice how the chick with, uh, in a big shirt.
Like, wait, wait. What? What is? Okay, okay. Um, if she, he's about to talk about how she was attracted to some dude, and because of what he was wearing and the one that was six six, maybe, maybe she likes that. Just like you are allowed to like your hundred and twenty pound skinny chick. Okay, but what makes one worse over the other? He, okay, I'm, I'm. I've watched too many of these red pill guys to actually know what the fuck they're about to say. But watch, watch, watch. She's chewing the gum that she's rejecting and passing and, and, and I'll smash everything. Notice how her demeanor is. She, she's chewing that gum like a cow. And she has a big oversized shirt on. And look at her hands. Look at her body posture. She has her hands. Wait. The, wait. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'm about, oh, my God. I'm about to just, like, throw the fuck up, like. What? She's chewing gum! What? Okay, okay. God, this is the Lowe's cow. He's talking about her fucking size, but this is the Lowe's cow over here. Let, let's go. Hands basically are over her stomach because she knows that she's overweight. She's insecure about how she looks. So guys, a woman who's actually in shape, believe it or not, they're far more pleasant than women who are out of shape or who are bigger. It's all about your perception as a man. And men who are getting pussy are in a lot better uh, mental space than people that have to scrounge around for or shame women for. I'm just saying, it's about the mental space as a man. Like, dude, you we can see the dripping, oozing insecurities off of you. Where's your bad bitch at? Where is your chick that looks like a fucking runway model? Oh, you don't have one? Oh, you just mad that you here doing all these other stupid ass videos? Let, let, okay, let's go. See, I used to be like that many, many, many years ago, right? I'll admit, you see a girl who's a little thicker and everything, you're like, oh, let me go approach her, let me shoot my shot at her. Then, you know, you might get some girls or she might reject you, but then they reject you like, oh, like they're so much better than you. But then I say, you know what, let me start approaching. What did, what, wait, wait, what did you say? What did you say? Just, what did you say? I, 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 I feel that there is needed context. What did you say? Oh, okay, let's go. Approaching a lot more women who are in shape or at the gym, who are thinner, who, 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 uh, whose body's on point, who's worked on themselves. Those women are really pleasant. And if they were to reject you, it's kind of like, oh, I'm sorry, I have a boyfriend or whatever. Whether it's true or not. Still, they didn't give you that, that negative energy like they're so much better than you. So I start to realize, man, the women... So... In other words... He's mad that he's gotten rejected. I, I just, I, 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 like, all of this is, it sounds like, he's like trauma dumping. He sounds like he's mad because he's just trauma dumping. <laughs> no woman want me, even the ones that hey, I uh, <laughs> Now, let's repeat the non-conformist oath. I promise to be different. I promise to be different. I promise to be unique. I promise to be unique. I promise not to repeat things other people say. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Women who are actually attractive, I got way more women who are good looking than women who are basically below average or average or, you know, these. Uh, uh... Wait, I, I'm, I just want to ask everybody who's attracted to men in chat. I, I'm not attracted to men, so I'm not a good judge of this. Is is he above average? Is he average? I, I just like, I, I, I don't know. Maybe it's just me because, like, that's not what I look at. But, yeah, no. All right. This is just, like, weird because. <laughs> that's a lie, sir. <laughs> okay, let's go. Basically, unattractive chat type of females. These overweight chicks, right? So, guys, make sure you uphold your standards. Don't lower yourself. Don't say, well, um, you know, I think that girl over there, she, she's attractive, so she might not like me. She's in shape. She's working out. Her body's tight, so she has a boyfriend. I used to think the same too many years ago. Wait, 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 wait. Is it just me? Like, I have, okay, I, I actually have a skewed perception of, of things and people. Like, I judge people by the way I perceive them and how they act. Like, I, it takes me a while to be attracted to 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 to, to women. I, and I, I'm, I'm yeah. It takes me a while to be because I need to be able to perceive them. There are okay. So, um, and I know they'll never watch this channel, so I can go on and say it. 
there are women who I've actually taken the time, spent time with women who I've actually, excuse me, who I've actually done, you know, art of, but their attitudes is shit. And I, I, I just no, and they are conventionally attractive. They, they, they have some, they have some D's, not double D's, but they have some D's. They have like a 34, six inch waist or whatever the fuck you would call it as a, as a man or whatever like that. But their attitudes are just like shit and I'm not attracted to them. I, and it's just like, I, I, and again, maybe I have a, just a weird standard because like literally if I can't talk to a woman, if I can't, if, if I can't have post coitus conversation with you before coitus and I've realized that then we not cool. That like, look, 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 I, I, one of my recent partners that I've had that we're no longer, um, we no longer at like, she was outside of my normal, what I can could consider like my normal standard type. But what happened was we clicked in a way that I just hadn't in a long time. And I had fun with her. We enjoyed ourselves both inside and outside of the bedroom. It was, oh, it was just wonderful. But some people who like, I, It's just something about people who have a fucked up attitude. And I, you, you know, those people, you know, those people, those people that never had to develop a personality. They're just like, Oh, like Kardashians. Like, I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, fuck Kim Kardashian saying that people just don't want to work. Uh, but let's get, let's finish. Let's finish. Until I start to say, you know what? Let me go approach this one. Let me go talk to this one. Let me strike up a conversation. And guess what? My confidence starts to raise. And I was gonna say, you know what? I got this girl's number. We hooked up. We had a good time. I can do that again. So you start to get the repetitions of talking to attractive women, girls who are in shape, girls who actually value their image, right? See, a lot of guys, what they do is they think that that girl has a boyfriend or she's too good for him or man, she's out of my league just because she's working out like you. That's because she's in shape like you. No, like we have. We actually have a, we have a movie literally that shits on this bullshit. It's called she, she's out of my league with, um, um, Jay Buscemi. And it's just like people like this don't recognize that they shop, sabotage their own, but their own motherfucking chances with anybody. Even in that movie, the quote unquote hot girl, you see she has some insecurities. It's about people living. And oh my God, it doesn't matter if you fat, skinny, small, short, tall, you know, inside out. But fuckers like this are so clogged up in their own fucking mental cage of just like, oh man, I just, I just, I just, I, I need, like, of course I need to start banging fat chicks because reasons and like, no, like, Start banging fat chicks because she looks sexy to you. Like with big chunky. I'm sorry. I'm I'm sorry. I'm getting off to another subject. Let's go. Just like you think like that, a whole bunch of other dudes think the same way. So guess what? If you step to her, if you shoot your shot, man, she's she's most likely gonna. Oh, okay, cool. And, she, and you guys gotta exchange numbers and do whatever you gotta do. You guys gonna hang out, but overweight, bigger girls. Guess what? A lot of dudes think, oh, she's going to be easy. I can get that girl. So all these dudes are clamoring and shooting a shot and inboxing her or swiping right on dating apps because they think, oh, yeah, I'm going to get this. This, girl. this is a piece of cake. But then these type of women reject those dudes because the big egos that these men are giving these women, they're supplying these women with fake confidence. Guys, make sure you have some standards out here in this game, man. And we can be closest to each other's a point. Make sure you have some standards. But don't just make it physical standards. Oh my God, please, please make sure you can relate to people. Please, please make sure that you can talk to the person that you want to be with and not just some Machiavellian game of getting your penis wet or your vagina massage internally. Standards are a thing. They are great. 
And you know what's the most important standards? Here, here, here. Tell you a secret. Don't fuck crazy. I'm just saying, do not fuck crazy. Do not fuck... Like, you can fuck people that have depression because they should actually be dealing with that in a way that our healthcare system should really help people. But don't, don't fuck people just because they're depressed. N n never take advantage of people like that. Don't don't fuck people because you think that, hey, they're they're needy and they're uh, like, no, no. Have fun with people. And you should enjoy your own taste. For me, that's a little bit more on the chunky side. Not just because I'm chunky, but because I really, 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 really like to throw some D's on it. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> anyway, guys, if you like this video clip, um, I released them more and I'm kind of driving myself insane trying to do a stream every day, week, weekday, um, five days a week. Oh, God, I'm driving myself insane. <laughs> anyway, anyway, we're going to cut this segment here and then we're going to actually move on to our next video. Like, share, subscribe and all the other good shit. Thank you. And um. If I gave myself the power